What's up guys, Erroneous here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, we are midweek here when I'm recording this, it's Wednesday evening, but I'm probably going to post this either Thursday or Friday for you. I'm going to be running into Live Arena. We do have about one hour left, but I just want to give some updates on the account. So for the events, we do have the Anniversary Path event going on. I did pull Soul Stones in a previous video, so go ahead and check that video out. I got a couple of new things on my account, but mainly I, I also pulled on a viewer's. And I got him a ton of new things, so check the video out. Ton of six stars, and uh, he did get pretty lucky with his pulls. So I am going to try to push for this Mythical Chaos Ore. And if I can't get it, then I'll probably just go for the Chaos Powder. I would love to get the Legendary Book, but I just don't want to pull any more of my Soul Stones. I want to save up again until the next 2x. And who knows, we might have like a... A path event or a titan event in the future where they introduce like oh you need to pull your mortals or immortals they have done it once i think during a fusion i believe if i can recall correctly and you know a lot of people didn't end up having any soul stones because they did a 2x event right before that fusion or that specific champion that you were going for but um and people are a little bit mad at that but you know that's kind of how it's kind of how they operate if you don't understand that by now but either way Right now for the portal, we've got 217 Ancients, 111 Voids, 3 Primals, and 12 Sacreds going into this upcoming fusion. I'm still, I kind of said I wanted to go for her, the Incarnate fusion, which starts tomorrow on Thursday. Uh, but I'm not sure if I actually want to go for her or not. I'm kind of like debating now if I even want to go for her. Mm, yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm going to think about it, but I might actually skip it, even though... It would be great on the account because of Guardian Rings, the Faction Guardians. Uh, we want to make sure that we're... If we pull a dupe of her, we can just pop her in here, right? I always end up getting dupes of the Fusions or Login Champions. It's kind of crazy. Or even Doom Tower Champions. But yeah, like Bannerlords don't have a single duplicate Legendary, which is insane. Orcs, not much. My best one, though, is Undead Hordes, which is actually one of the most important ones on my account especially for Rodos, right? If I get more defense and speed on him, that would be fantastic. And then I could go in here. I'm using all these champions for food, for champ chase, to fuse the Broadma or, uh, what's his name, Relic Keeper or something like that. Yeah, Relic Keeper. So, anywho, I think other things than that, uh, what have I done in the tavern? I think I just completed the upgrade skills for a couple of champions during this CVC. My clan's not pushing. I'm only getting the minimum on my account here, but because we're trying to tank it for the next CVC for personal rewards, it's just that we've won the past couple of non CVC personal rewards. And um, unfortunately, we then get paired up with a crazy strong team after that for personal rewards, and then we lose. So we can't even get the rewards that we're looking for. And those personal rewards are juicy. 2400 plus energy is insane to get for anybody's account. So that's why you need to go and spend all your resources during personal reward CVC, not non CVC, unless you're just specifically looking for these right here, these uh, legendary reaction accessories. But the one that we're in is like tier four, I think. Yeah, tier four. So reality is we're just trying to push for the milestone rewards and that's it. And we don't really care too much about the win. These guys are going ham anyways. We're trying to keep our score as low as possible so we can get into tier four or tier three potentially, even though tier three is not nearly as strong, but you know what? It is what it is. So let's do this. Let's hop into live arena. Oh, uh, upgrade skills. I upgraded the skills on my Tormin and who else did I upgrade skills on? So Tormin's complete now. So his upgraded skills are fully done. I think I did. Who else did I complete? I didn't put any into him yet. I think I only had like eight books anyways for legendary. I'm going to save the rest of them for the next CVC. And hmm, such a scarcity for books in this game. I don't remember who else I put books into, to be honest. Oh, Visix. I put books into Visix and finished her skills, which is good for the Hydra. And then I'm going to start working on Underpriest. And then I'm going to work on Wixwell as well. Because I want to make a crazy like infinity comp basically, but who knows and they might end up nerfing that so who knows what happens in the future. Alika five star, which is nice. I did get that from the previous video. So if you want to check it out, please feel free to do so. 
she's currently 271 speed on my account. The 30% crit damage is big, and she's got 500 on the accuracy. Maybe I'll try her out today, but if I get her to the 6 star, she'll get better. So decreased target defense by 4% per hit, up to 40% for champions, 20% for bosses, and an additional 10 speed, which is pretty insane. Yeah, 281 speed would be crazy. And it's mainly because I want her to lock people out with this ability. And she does smack with this one anyways. But I was trying to rebuild her in a little bit stronger rebuild, but I couldn't get her as fast. So I just need to work on trying to reroll these. And I think I reworked this. No, I didn't rework it yet. But basically, I need to rework this into like crit damage so she can get, I think it's 20% crit damage you get from it, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I had two reworks actually already. So that's, that's a lot just to do that. I want attack percent here. I want speed or attack percent here. Probably preferably attack percent. And then we're just going to keep on trying to glyph these pieces in the future. And I, I can get way more speed on her, close to 300 as a epic champion. And then when I plus four her, obviously she's going to be disgusting. So I am working and focusing on Alika on my account to try to utilize her. I still don't even have her masteries complete. So I also need to work on masteries and get Helm Smasher. So... Um, I'm not sure if I said it earlier, but I am pretty sick right now. You may or may not hear it in my voice, but I'm a little bit stuffy. So I may have to do a lot of cuts in the video, or you may see me like blowing my nose during the video. So I do apologize for that. We haven't played in a couple of days. So let's do this. I'm at 4061. I kind of, well, I did play yesterday, but it was on my cell phone. I, I did like three battles or something like that. And that was it. So let's do this. Let's hop in. Let's get some wins, hopefully. How are you guys doing, by the way? Hopefully you're having a great day or a great evening. And uh, where are you guys at in progression? Are you just focusing on Curse City? Are you end game? Uh, do you watch the channel in your early game, mid game? I'm actually interested to find out. I might do a poll on that too to see how my viewers fare in this game to see if they're end game or earlier mid game. I'm, I'm super interested in knowing. And then also, I'm interested in knowing like what type of content you want to watch. Um, are you struggling on certain content? that you would like me to go over. I'd be happy to make some videos on it, but please let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to help. So he's going to go with Armand's first. Armand's, I think we're going to go with Sun Wukong. Maybe he does UDK, who knows. I kind of want to use, oh, Harima, that sucks. Okay. And he has Taras, yikes. So he's probably going to do Marichka in lockout, most likely, or something crazy. Maybe I go with Bombs last. Oh, geez, okay. Yikes, five star here. He doesn't have temporal chains on Armand's, but he's just going to ban my speed anyways, right? I kind of have to get the jump on him. Even if I do land, he has five star polymorph on both of these champions. Hers doesn't matter. She's not in accuracy. I think I'll just do this. I'll just do Samson. I think I'm just going to ban here. I probably could have gone with like a, a Ronda as well. My Ronda's not really built very well. And I haven't been getting super lucky with new lethal gear. I think I only just got one good piece of lethal gear, which is a defense-based lethal gear. And I still haven't maxed it out. I'm going to do it during the fusion and like an artifact enhancement event during the fusion. It's a defense percent with triple roll crit rate and a five speed um, and a flat stat HP on it. I did post it on my YouTube if you want to check it out. So he's got... Hmm... I think I'm going to try to strip this and just see if I can maybe get lucky. Of course, we're not. Um, damn. Yikes, dude. Oh, geez. I'm going to try to do a strip again with increased accuracy. She's going to put buffs. Yeah, I figured. Let's try to strip again. Man. These guys are tanky. Plus, with the passives, let's go ahead and stun. Oh, he's so slow with his... Shoot, he can cleanse that. He is so slow with his Pytheon. I just took two turns with my Makage. That's crazy. And he's going to kill me because of all the buffs with Taras. Damn, the stones... He's such a slow Pytheon. What the heck? I didn't get lucky with both of these strips here. Yeah, he killed us here. Okay, um, let's do this. He's, all, all he can do is double tap on my Samsung. And we're going to keep on doing this. 
Oh no. You can do AoE and kill me. Ooh, weak hit. Let's go. Okay, that's big. He also doesn't have increased defense on him, which is nice. I don't have increased attack, though, which I can't put on myself anyways. And I don't think I can one-shot her. Yeah, it's because of the Harima. The Harima passive is disgusting. Uh, I don't foresee myself winning this, to be honest. I mean, we could get lucky, but I don't know. I'd have to get the cruelty to really stack up with my uh, Samson. Uh, the cruelty is just not doing enough right now. I think he needs like a six star cruelty for it to really, really be effective. He's going to do a triple hit. I think she has it back. Nope. Decrease attack. Yikes. Oh my god, we're not even doing damage because of the passive from Taras as well. We are screwed. He's hitting virtually no damage now with the decrease attack. Taras Harima. Oof. And then of course he picked first, so he got the... What's his name? Armand's. He might have his AoE back. And he'll definitely kill Samson. Okay. Uh, let's just do the A1 for now because we we have decreased attack on us. So now he's gonna do the triple. Okay, he still didn't kill us, which is nice. Still focusing on this freaking Duchess here. Ah, oh, he killed me with his Pythion. Really? Dang, dude. And he's healing up too. God. Okay, here comes the AoE hit. He doesn't have as many buffs, though. Does he have it back? No. Okay. Let's do this. Maybe we can get lucky if he doesn't have the AoE provoke. Ugh, damn it. Okay, well, yeah, we definitely lose the next turn that Taras takes. And he's got so many buffs as well gonna keep healing her up yeah ggs here comes a smack yeah i mean that's a tough fight right harima is disgusting paired with especially with taras as well so much damage mitigation on that team so unfortunately we just couldn't do anything probably should have brought in i guess i could risk it and bring in bombs but the polymorph sucks for bomb champions Especially my knee shack. I have to risk it. And like 60% to 70% of the time, I'm getting sheeped. I'm also not going first at all, so I can't pick Armand's. And so I can actually get my team going. But it's all good, I guess. Let's go like this again. He's probably got CV. I mean, he's 4,500. He's only level 96, but usually these low-level players that are high up tend to have... Yeah, there's a Narciss and Ancora, so they tend to have really good champs. And you know what? He has no Polymorph yet, so I'm not going to showcase my bombs yet, but I will do bombs on this one, on this team. So let's go Pythion. And... Actually, no, let's not do Pythion. Let's just go speed. Let's go Sun Wukong. And let's go... Should I do Duchess? Yeah, let's do Duchess. He might end up throwing in a UDK. But I have to ban Armands. So Duchess with Stone Skin. I think she'll be decent. The issue is Narciss uh, ignoring the passives. He's really difficult to kill. Ah, oh, Taras and Ostrid as well. What? All right, let's just go bombs. He might ban my bombs, or he might just ban my speed. I don't know if I'm going to... I'm not going to be faster than him, though. I feel like everybody up here has a Taras and Narciss. He banned my bombs. Okay. 
well if Ostrid's not in stone skin I might be able to win he's in bolster set let's go for let's go for Narciss let's try to kill him um we didn't do any damage holy crap dude how does he oh that's the passive from him okay well that sucks I should have just changed and did the, whatchamacallit, the um, stun. That really sucks. GG's. So many buffs. It's insane. I'm dead with one hit. Boom, dead. And then Taras is going to do the A2. I forgot about that Narciss passive with Ancora that he takes no damage whatsoever. It's so broken. No freaking damage whatsoever. I'm already dead. He's got he probably already has a reset from Ancora. Okay, nope, that's good. Uh damn counterattack. I don't want that, but whatever. Plus, like Duchess is virtually unusable now. I probably shouldn't even have used Duchess. She's like unusable versus Narciss. Let's do this. Come on, he just got a reset on Narciss. Let's go ahead and speed up and try to take a turn with her so we can lock out. Uh, let's do that stun. Oh, no! No! Oh, let's go. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. GG's. Damn, I thought I was going to lose that one. Holy crap. That was very lucky. Very lucky. Sun Wukong coming back to life was clutch. All right, word. Super tough team, though. These teams are really difficult to beat. The only reason why I won is because he's a lower level, which typically means if you're a big spender, doesn't necessarily mean you have the best gear. So I beat him due to my gear being a little bit better. Plus, of course, Sun Wukong nuking him down. And his Merciless set, which is ridiculously filthy. Uh, he's going Sun Wukong. We're going to go double speed here. We're going to go triple speed because we're going to bring in Mikage. Unless he brings in Mikage. He could. And he got Mikage. Okay. Well, uh, we're going to take Uko. Thank you. And we're going to take... Who else does block buffs? Who else does block buffs? Ah, man. Um, Leorius is the one I'm afraid of. I'm going to bring in Bolster, Duchess, and I'm, well, I think I'll go Hefrak. I'll go Hefrak, actually, because he has Stone Skin for a turn, at least. Lockout, double, triple, basically. Oof. I think I'm going to ban Galathir. And he doesn't have, he's probably going to ban my Rotos, but let's see. I'm going to ban Galathir. He has to ban Armands. He didn't ban Armands. What? Okay, so his, uh, he has a lot of faith in his speed, so his Makage and Lockout might be crazy. Well, I mean, he'll beat us if he's faster. So, it's the name of the game. Yep, he's faster. Lockout, pretty much over. Let's see if we can just... Well, we decreased his turn meter, but it didn't do much. The only thing he can't lock out is Hefrax passive, so maybe we can just kill him, but then my issue is going to be Leorius getting the unkillable. Leorius can do a double smack and kill somebody. He'll definitely kill my Uko. He didn't kill my Uko, what? Looking for an extra turn, we didn't get it. We really need our RNG to work, because if we don't, then it's over. He stole my stone skin. Damn it. Okay. Well. That sucks. I'm still stunned here as well. This is a loss. It's going to weaken. Double tap. It's over. GG's.
21 million player power. I mean, yeah, they're just faster. Nothing we can do. Uko couldn't take a turn. He's too slow. He has in a stun set like 270, 280 speed. It's just way too slow up here. My champion gear. I don't have... I'm very like well-rounded of a player, but I don't have like my top 10 best champions and all the best gear. I, I kind of need to focus on that with in terms of my gearing, so it's a bit of a problem. I think I'm trying to spread my gear so far that I just need to refocus on certain champs. I didn't have time to do the free re-gear on my Uko, but I do want to rebuild him. I know the stun set's great, but I'm considering just putting him in super fast speed gear. Armands. Okay. Let's do this. Might take Makage. If not, I'm going to go Makage. Of course he did. Uh, we're going to take... Duchess and Samson. Stoneskin Duchess. Probably going to go with Pythion. So if he just bans my speed, I think what I'm going to do, I mean, I have to ban his speed, right? Yikes. Okay, red champions all over, which is good for me. The issue is going to be her. Hmm. <laughs> Should I use a funny champion? Maybe I'll use... um. Nah, I shouldn't do it. I was going to do Gamoran, but he's so trash. He's so trash. Um, I don't need to use him, though. Let's try... I guess I'll just go... Nah, I tried to pick on a uh, different champ. I wasn't really sure what to do. Ugh, my head's a bit foggy here. Oh, man. Super stuffed up. I guess I can't pick. That's cool. Wow. Why isn't it letting me pick here? Got something in my eye. All right. So he banned my Duchess. Let's go speed. I mean, no temporal chains, which is good. So we should be good here, I think. I think we'll win. Unless he's crazy fast. He does have a plus two Kandrophon, but I do have two champions that are Spirit Affinity. So he has three Spirit Affinity champs. The issue is going to be the Marichka reviving everybody. She has a very, very strong passive with the revive. It's like a 75% turn meter or something like that. It's filthy. And I don't have somebody that can lock him out. Oh, Jesus. And he's in double stone skin. Holy crap. Just do this, A1 for now. Let's uh, try to steal. Nice, that's big. We did steal. Stone skin so we won't die with our, Samps or our Sun Wukong. He'll try to probably kill the Samson though, I assume. Or he's going to try to kill the Arbiter, which he could, to be fair. Yeah, the Arbiter is going to go down. Jesus, that's big. That candy's filthy. I do have Kandrafon, but I don't have him built in my best gear. Yikes. AoE, probably. Oh, no. He's just going to A1 someone, I assume. I can't kill him with one shot now. Especially with my Sun Wukong. Until they lose all their, um, their buffs or whatever. Does he have block debuffs? No. Let's try this. Okay, everybody resisted, which sucks. We might be able to kill him, possibly. He's going to try to stun. That would be his best case scenario. He's got a two turn. Okay, he's not trying to stun. Interesting. He's waiting on the stun. He's going to transform and try to stun or remove the stone skin. Uh, the best thing for him would be to transform and remove the increased attack from my Sun Wukong. But if he doesn't, then oh, he wasted time. Oh, he still did it. I forgot she has a removal ability on that. Uh, let's go here. We weren't able to kill him. Ooh. Yikes. Oh, he removed my... Almost removed my stone skin fully, but I, I because I was only one turn, it was gone anyways. He's going to kill us. 
There's a stun. Okay, she's dead. I just don't think we can survive. Oh, uh, well, maybe. Maybe we do. Okay, okay. He can stun, though. The reason why I might win this is only because I have Sun Wukong who can come back to life. There's a stun. We can remove his buffs. I'll take the crit damage and increase attack. There's a stun. Okay. <laughs> All right, we win. We win. I was, that was a good one. That was a good one. He had a lot of stone skin. Personally, I mean, his Kandrophon was in a two-turn stone skin, which means he just has really, really powerful stone skin. And you, as you could have seen, as you saw, he was still hitting super, super hard. So Candy is definitely strong. It's not like he's a terrible champ. Personally, I would do one turns. Well, was he in two turns stone skin? Maybe he was only in one turn, and then the Staltus was in two turns. So maybe he had Savage or Lethal with Stone Skin one turn on Candy. Let me know in the comments down below. I mean, I'll probably see it when I edit the video, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure if it was a two-turn Stone Skin or a one-turn on the Candy. But good fight either way. Good fight either way. All right, let's see. Yes, we get to go first. Hell yeah. Gonna go with him. A, a, a bad part about going first is that they take the Arbiter and the Sun Wukong, typically. And Arbiter for me is very strong. The reason why I want to go for the fusion is the unique, um, um, you know, passive from what's her name, the the Incarnate Champion. Yeah, there you go. They took the Arbiter and Sun Wukong. That's why I want to go for her. I think I'm gonna go with UDK, so he's not unkillable. And we're going to go Duchess. Yeah. We'll go Duchess with Stone Skin. But yeah, they have their unique pairing. They should be strong, somewhat strong together. It allows you to continue to revive or get a potential revive if you're locked out, for example. Because it doesn't lock out the passive. Unless somebody brings in a Ramatu or someone who can block passives on the Incarnate. If they lock you out with the Arbiter... And then say, that, for example, they kill everybody on your team. The Incarnate gives you a chance to have your Arbiter revive everybody because it resets the skill of the revive on Arbiter. So that's kind of interesting. It's unique. I don't think it's going to be like, you know, it's not going to be bonkers by any means. Some people might use her in Arena. Personally, I would build her for damage and not for the Hydra, but some people will do it for Hydra. I know that you don't want to use the ally protection if you build damage, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's go with uh, Samson. I kind of have to go Red Affinity, right? Or I could just go Foley. But he's gonna beat me in speed. Let's go with uh, let's go with Tormund. It's kind of new and improved here. I could also do Ragash, but he's gonna get clapped. Now let's do Candy. Let's go Candy. She's annoying. Morrigan, six star. She fears everybody. Steals turn meter. Um, places the heal reduction. So, I think I'm going to get rid of Morrigan here. Who does he put last? Is he going to do triple speed? Or is he going to do triple damage? I mean, he could end up bringing in like a um, a cleanser. No, he's going with bombs. I'm going to ban the bombs. I don't want to just die. Increased defense. I'm just going to go with speed. If we don't take a turn, we're just going to lose straight up. But hopefully the Sun Wukong doesn't steal my stone skin from the Duchess. And then if we can take a turn, we might be able to make a comeback. Go second. No stone skin on anybody, so the Torment should work out great. Oh, she can steal stone skin as well. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that with Morrigan. Oh, no. That's what I was... Ah, darn it. I totally forgot about that, dude. And I'm feared. I thought it was just the fears, but and, and turn meter steel, but it's... Oh, my God. All right, well... Are you kidding me? What is this luck that he's going through right now? Double tap, I'm dead. GG's. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Did I revive? Yeah, I, I got a revive. The fears? Are you serious right now, dude? 50-50 proc fear. That's amazing, dude. 
That is amazing. Well, <sighs> GG's. Man. I mean, I can't I can't beat him with just the torment, unfortunately. I just can't. Dude, what the hell? The RNG in that was absolutely bonkers. Just disgusting RNG. Stole both of my stone skin. 50-50 shot. Facing him again, though. Um, give him the turn first. Okay, now. Um, let's go with uh let's go with this right here. We're gonna go ahead and take the speed. Give him speed. Um, ban more again. We're going to we're going to take speed. We're going to take um, Makage. So he has no stone skin. He might have stone skin on Armands, but I'm going to ban Armands. And he might have a cleanser. That would be his best bet. He can't use Sun Wukong. Ostrid and Ramantu to block passive. But I mean, it's reality is Ramantu is only going to be good against Sun Wukong. I'm going to bring in a cleanser this time instead of Duchess. I'm going to bring cleanse and then do damage, I guess. Trunda sucks. I think I'm going to bring in Samson because he's fast. He's going to bring Trunda. I'm just going to ban Armands. He's got Ostrid. He's going to ban my speed. We've got positive affinity with both these champions. There's the Trunda. He's going to ban Arbiter or he's going to ban Mikage. It's the same guy though, so... I kind of got his number a little bit here. He should be able to win, but... No! He banned my Pythion because I can easily cleanse. How fast is his champions then? Does he know I have a slow Arbiter? He's got to be over 380 speed then. Might Maybe like 390, 400 speed on Ostrid. If he's banning Pythion. Jesus. Okay, well, that's a GG. Um, speeding up. Alright, take a turn. I've got freaking Temporal Chains. Come on. She just, just deleted my turn meter. Ah, oh, Jesus. Alright. Well... That's night night for me. He's way too fast. I did not expect him to be that fast. All right. Well, that sucks. See what I mean? Like you you can't win unless you're fast. It's just impossible unless you have disgusting go second champions like Narcissus. Narcissus and Encora. I don't have Narcissus though. Encora is good, but mm, let's just do you know what, let's do speed. Let's do Makage. I'm going to go with Tormund this time. And I don't know who else to pick. I'm just too slow. All right, I don't have Tormund. He's not picking. Is he even going to pick Tormund? I feel like he's not going to. Maybe I'll go with UDK and Sun Wukong. He might pick Tormund, though. If he does, I still have to ban Armands. No Tormund. Okay, that's good. And we need damage. I could just bring in my Samson again. There's no way he's faster than me. If he's faster than me, I give up. <laughs> if he's faster than 360 speed, I I don't know what to do. You know? I got to do a gear cleanse too. I, I dread gear cleanses. It's one of the most annoying things to do in this game. <clears throat> yeah, he's faster than me. 370 speed Mithrala, dude. Are you serious right now? It's disgusting. That is disgusting. GG's though. Yeah, I'm winning this time. All right. Good fight. So we are, we got four losses, three wins, 26 million player power, but this guy's 15 million player power. He was still faster than me too. 
The good news is he wasn't speed tuned. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Come on. Lazarius is pretty dirty champion, but unless he's fast, like really fast, he's not going to do much. It's almost like Armand's for me doesn't even do much because they can just steal my speed champs. Arbiter and Sun Wukong. And those are kind of like my, my main go-tos is Arbiter and Sun Wukong, so... Yeah, there's Sun Wukong and Narciss. All right, so I'm going to take Ancora and just ban the Narciss. I'm going to do this, and we're going to type in Ancora. Throw her in. Confirm. I don't even care if he has Lockout either. I'm just legit going to use Ancora. Uh, I'll take the Lockout. I'll just put in a couple of counterattack champions. Maybe I'll go Eryx. Yeah, Blue Affinity Eryx. We've got plenty of Blue Affinity here already. So we'll bring in Blue Affinity Eryx, and we'll bring in, probably going to bring in Samson, because he's really fast. And all he does is ban my Armands. He's probably going to bring in Speed, most likely. An Arbiter. No, he's going to bring in CC. Or, uh, yeah, CC. Um, He has no Polymorph. I'm going to do Bombs. Bombs. I can't. Maybe I. Uh, should I destroy Rodos on here? Should I take him out? Hmm. I mean, Kanjafon's pretty strong. He's not strong enough on my account, though. I guess I'll just go with Samson. I'm just going to take out Narsa still. Yeah, Nishak and Samson are my fastest damage dealers on my account. So, let's see what happens here. Uh, he's going to go speed most likely. Ally attack is what kills me. Okay. Interesting. Let's go with speed. He does have a cleanser though, but I probably should have just banned Mithrala. <clears throat> the only downside of this fight is that my Samsung's not faster, so he can't increase accuracy on my Nishak. He can do it, but then I'd have to skip a turn. It looks like Mithrala's faster than his Makage. Let's just try it anyways. Yeah, we weren't able to get it. Yeah, GG's. It's going to cleanse everything. And then he's going to go ahead and... Um, stun. Or he's going to cleanse. Yeah. Alright, well, let's do this and speed up. We might still win. Nope. That sucks. How is he not dying from the poison? Counterattack. No, I actually didn't want to kill him. Ooh, I didn't get petrified. That's big. And I didn't get stunned there, but he's going to nuke us to the ground. Ooh, let's go. Resisted. Um, I think I got to kill him. Ooh, nice stun. Can I get a decrease? Ooh, a fear. I was hoping for a decrease attack as well. What the hell is this bug with UDK? He's like see-through. I think we're going to revive UDK. And I don't think he has a refresh on Sun Wukong. And I'm just going to gamble that he doesn't have the A2. Probably just has the A1. And it'll just go into him anyways, so. Let's do that. Nice. GG's. Alright, Samson for the win. 
Samsung Nishak combo. Take that win. Okay, let's keep going. Four and four right now, so 50% win rate. That's typical that I get up here at this point. I get 50%. Excuse me. And it's, you know, it's all right. It's all right. It's not the best, but we'll see how things go here. He's going first. Armand's probably. I mean, most people pick Armand's. Yeah. We're going to go. I think I'm going to pick Ancora again and speed. Maybe I'll pick Ancora speed. Ancora is actually such a dirty, filthy champion. Not going to lie. She's so strong. I love Ancora. I feel like she's even better than Duchess at this point, which is super crazy. So if I do Ancora and speed, I mean, that's kind of like, that's big. Obviously, he could still pick Sun Wukong. He's picking Narciss. Okay. So he's still, he's still trying to go super speedy. I can now do Sun Wukong and UDK. And he'll probably pick Rodos. I assume. I just don't want him to pick Wukong. He could even do Mikage. Mikage would be a great pick here for him. I do use Mikage a good amount. Sometimes I forego using her just because... Yeah, there's Mikage. <laughs> GG's. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh... I think he's going to win this one. I mean, increased defense. He's six star, six star. Jesus. I mean, maybe if we can, maybe we can do bombs. Maybe if we get lucky. You know what? No, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to go Samson. I just hate risking it and getting polymorphed and then losing. It's the worst feeling in the world. He banned my UDK. So he can try to sleep me over and over. Wow. Is he still going to be faster than me? Nope. Just slightly slower. Oh, that sucks, dude. He's going to sleep my Sun Wukong. That would be the better person to sleep. Because if he doesn't sleep Sun Wukong, it's... Well... Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Come on, Sun Wukong, you freaking... Ugh! He beat me. Does she have Temporal? No, she's in freaking Brimstone. That sucks, dude. That sucks. Now I can get slept. Ah, oh, here we go. The never-ending sleep. Love it, dude. Oh, my son Wukong so freaking slow. 240 something speed and he's that slow. Like 244 speed. Needs to be like 260, 270. Same with my Samsung. I need to re-roll this into speed. I already reworked it twice, which sucks. Please, for the love of God, give me speed. Oh, thank God. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Nine speed, 253 now, baby. Let's go. Dang. Too bad I didn't do that in the beginning of the video, but whatever. It is what it is. So 253 speed is much better on the account for Sun Wukong with merciless gear, six piece, ignoring 35% of the target's defense. Damn, let's, let's go, dude. 253 speed. I love it. Big. I'd love him to be even faster, but what can you do? I'd have to put like speed gear on him. So merciless with speed or I don't know, but it's hard because with six piece merciless, all the pieces that I have are in the artifact side, the, the upper portion, not the accessories. So I'd have to figure out how to get I'd have to get lucky, basically. Get three accessories on the bottom for Sun Wukong for Merciless, and then get three accessories at the top, and then put two speed pieces. That would make him like 270 to 280 speed, which would be pretty filthy. 
but obviously there are players that play this game that have like a 300 plus Sun Wukong easily way better gear than me that's top like 200 maybe top 500 players but I mean you gotta spend to get that far up let's be honest I mean well, then again, I know Boozer has made it to top 200, but that was before this meta. And now I don't even know if he does videos for live arena anymore because the mythicals are taking over and stuff. But yeah. So anyways, uh, Sun Wukong, UDK. Uh, hmm. I guess I could just go all speed here. Maybe I go with, well, ally attacks good. I need the speed. I really do. So let's just go fast. He might throw in a Tormund. I don't have any damage dealers yet, so my last two are going to be damage. Man, I can't wait till there's another 2x for voids. I think I'm going to pull on a 2x for voids because I was saving for a guaranteed legendary, but... It's so random that they do guaranteed legendaries for voids or any guaranteed legendaries in general. And they never inform the CCs that there's going to be a guaranteed. Well, they do sometimes, but they don't always inform the CCs, you know, right away. And then it's like, ah, damn, I just pulled during a 2X. And now you're letting us know that there's going to be a guaranteed void legendary. I, I really love that. It's amazing. But they did tell us about Narciss and Narciss was... 110 voids and I think I only had 45 voids saved up at the time for Narciss which super super I'm still pissed off at that these days oh Jesus okay well Sigfrind I think I gotta ban Sig this is challenging I mean if I can lock Sigfrind lock the Sig but I've got to ban the UDK. Got to ban UDK. Hmm. If I ban UDK, I could bring in... Try out my Rotos. Let's do this. Let's go Rotos. I could be a, a wrong pick here, but... I could have also done bombs, now that I think about it. He's got a 5-star Polymorph here, but who knows. He could also put a cleanser or another reviver. Like, does he have Galathir here too? That would suck for me. He's going to ban my Armands. I feel like this is going to be a tough fight. Because this chick's so powerful, Mezamel. I really want this chick. She's actually super powerful. She's not the best mythical for damage, but she is very, very strong. Let's go ahead and ban UDK. He might even ban my Rodos potentially. Or he might ban my Holy. See what happens. The first thing I'm going to do is kill Mezamel. Then we're going to kill Ragash. My issue is ugh, now that I think about it, I mean, double nuker here is tough to go against, too. I don't know. This is going to be a tough fight. I might even have to just stun. I mean, it also depends on Sigfrind. Like what type of gear and stuff he has. Is he in stone skin? Personally, I would put Siegfried in stone skin. But who knows? They could all be in stone skin. If so, then I might just straight up lose. All right. Here we go. Phew. That's Siegfried. I, I, Siegfried's scary, dude. Gives me PTSD. Losing to Siegfrieds all the time. Not every time, but usually Rodos is pretty good against Siegfried. Yeah, two people in stone skin here. Um... Let's just see if we get lucky here. I mean, I could. I got to get lucky here because I want to lock. I want to. Um, No, dude. Make sure he dies. Yeah, we, we're screwed. <laughs> GG's. He's going to stun us. She's going to one shot Foley or one shot Rodos. So she has the double hit. How did we not hit the 50-50 on either of them, though? What the heck, man? The RNG today is not on my side at all. Extra turn. I mean, I can't even kill him 
Well, can I kill him? Yeah, I think I can. Um, extra turn. Extra turn. Okay, we'll take that. Yeah, we're dead. It doesn't matter. Damn. Stone skin is ridiculous. Oh, he's going to AOE us. We're dead. GG's. Yep. All right. Well, just because he didn't, I didn't remove stone skin. RNG. Super, super heavy RNG. Yikes, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six losses and only four wins. Man, so disgusting. So disgusting. All right, well, it is what it is. Mythicals are just taking over at this point. Um, Hydra, we're going to do crit damage. Go ahead and do that. Hoping to get this one max soon. I'd like to go for attack and defense next. And then accuracy. I don't really need accuracy, but... I'll focus on that too. So I want to focus on Hydra. Then I want to focus on Curse City. I have been focusing on Fire Knight too, but I want to focus on Curse City as well so I can just beat those rotations. How much points is it at first? 100? So I would need like speed. Speed would be big. So we'll start focusing on Cursed and go from there. Man, I still can't believe that, dude. So unlucky on the RNG. It is what it is. Nothing here. A little bit of energy. Yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this one then, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching if you watched this far. Not the best in Live Arena these days just because of how many mythicals there are. You know, people just being way faster than me. It's very challenging up here. I personally don't want to drop down, like, on purpose. I don't want to go down to gold 2 again or, you know, silver or anything like that because it's just... It's going to absolutely ruin my win rate even further and i just don't want to do that i don't want to be that player unfortunately you know i know some people like to do it i'm at rank 31 38 so it's going to be tough up here when you're almost top 3000 in the world but yeah i mean at the end of the day the spenders are usually going to take the cake especially with all the mythicals that people are getting now again thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you all if you watch this far and i'll see you on a video soon take care